Every new set that comes out, look at that pack. Oh my goodness. We ask, is it worth it? Is it worth getting one? And man, if you are a game, a TCG creator, and you can get past that point where, you know, people just don't ask that question as much. They're just excited to buy the new set and they're going to go get it no matter what. If you can get to that point, then you are really really rocking we're going to actually start off here with blooming marsh that's the first borderless foil land i've seen and man i really like the way these look but they are not worth much <laughs> they're not worth much at all so it's going to go on the bottom and you know that's really the thing that hits for most people you just saw it kind of flip through a bunch of different rares and whatnot but that's the question you often ask yourself is if it's worth it when it comes to collector booster are you getting your monies back are you getting your value back but you know for me that question is just a little bit too obvious it's a question we always ask you know of course if you can buy a box of any game and you're gonna make your money go woo 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 way high woo look at oh Garoff there that's actually a nice one look at that mythic he's a mythic and he's a foil so he'll probably curl a lot I'll throw him down in a sleeve right but obviously if you could buy a box for two hundred dollars and on average you're going to open 250 300 whatever it is yeah of course you want to get it or if you know next week the price of the whole sealed case is gonna just jump up sealed box yeah of course but so for me what's more interesting is you know even if you don't make any of your money back right even if you are gonna lose a bunch of money that's a nice reanimate with a mana drain oh i guess we're not gonna lose too much in this box opening that's two in a row two boxes in a row with mana drain but let's say that we didn't get that let's say that we got just lots of things like this i don't know how much breaches is worth i do i like this frame i like it i actually like it you know as much as i talk about how many frames and stuff i think i the wanted posters i like them i do like them but how much, you know, do you actually enjoy opening the packs? We get so stuck on the money thing. And because these cost so much, right, when you're looking at over $200, it's harder. Like, it, you, your enjoyment level has to be higher than your normal average booster box in a TCG for you to be able to justify the price for it. Oh, cool. Look at that steed. You know, so for me, it's like I like opening cards. I love seeing it. You know, now, of course, with this kind of a product, right, I'm not opening it with, wow, what's the cool game or different things I'm going to play with it? Because, man, Gerwolf, Gerwolf, I don't know how you say his name. He's here twice already. But, you know, of course, if you want to just play, you can get Gerwolf for less. You can get the cheap version very easy. You don't have to open collector booster packs. So, again, when I'm opening these, I'm not thinking, wow, now I can really throw down Thornado. Of course, you know, that's why it says collector pack on it. It doesn't say play booster on it. You now they've made it very clear which one you play with, which one you don't play with. In case anybody was lost in the past. But again, how much do you actually enjoy the process of opening packs, of collecting cards? You know, another nice reanimate, but here Austell Lee's again showing up forgot to put her in the mythic pile this is like a duplicate pack i believe from the last uh, opening stella lee we had a reanimate we had a world waker helm in this version it did not have a harvester of misery though oh, look at that one big score foil i'll sleeve it i'll sleeve it why not i don't know essence capture and here you know again this is where it comes down to how much do you really enjoy this process if you're thinking about getting a box and you just want to do this, which I've, I've done a couple times in this video because I'm talking. But if you just totally want to skip everything here, then you know maybe it's just not the right thing to do, right? Like if you actually enjoy getting some of the cards, yeah, sure, they're not super valuable. Oh, but you think, wow, I actually like getting that land. And oh, you know, these are kind of cool to have and I want to put it in a binder. And you enjoy that collecting process, right? You enjoy that collecting process of it then it it just makes it more worth it so for me i love the collecting process i love 
flipping the cards. I love seeing kind of these cool shiny pieces of cardboard paper and it's fun. It's fun. The surprise of like, okay, what are you going to get? Oh man, didn't get it. And then when you hit something big, you know, not an inspiring vantage, unfortunately anymore, it's not a big hit, but when you do hit something big, it's, it's so much more fun for me, that experience than it is if I just go and buy something outright, buy a single outright. For example, in the first collector box I opened here in the channel, I got this Sword of Wealth and Power foil showcase variant, and it's really cool. I loved opening this card. It was way more fun than if I decided, you know, let's go spend $90 and buy it. If that is not true for you, if you immediately think, you know, I have almost no joy with that opening experience or the opposite it actually makes you kind of mad and you're like i'd rather just buy the card then yeah you know it's not worth it don't do it <laughs> don't buy the box it is not worth it at that point only do this if you like this process right and of course again i've already said if you think it's something you can make money off of that's a different conversation right if you're gonna be making money you're having fun if you're making money if you like collecting and you think you can make money from it, or you know what a lot of people do is they try to do it in a way where you open stuff, you keep uh, some of it, but you sell most of it so that it makes it so your gameplay or your collecting is not super expensive, <laughs> has a little bit of a cost to it, but overall is not you know that expensive. And go for it, go for it. There you go, a little pest control, another one off of our big score again just leaving those ones i know i know not all the mythics there are actually worth that much even though they say mythic it just just doesn't mean value but look at that oasis i often tell people the same thing i tell them in other games i've done a lot of videos like this again it feels like every set you say is it worth buying it and i often say that you have to ask yourself you know what if I get a terrible box, right? If let's pretend that last box we opened, we actually did lose $200 on it. You know, or maybe not so bad. Let's say we lost $175. Would you have still had any fun with the experience of opening it? World Waker Helm, there you go. That's a decent hit actually. Now, of course, nobody's gonna say, yeah, I'm really glad that I got nothing out of the box. But if you can't be okay with that experience, right? Because it is going to happen. It is going to happen at different times. You're going to see the person next to you open up $500 in their box. And in your box, you're going to open up $30, $40, $100. It happens all the time, right? If you are not okay with that experience, then you shouldn't do it. But if you are like me, again here, and you're like, sweet terror of the peaks extended art look at that it's oh it's a great hit it's fun and it's so much more fun for me that i opened it than if i just went and bought it it's just not it's not the same feel anyways that's how i feel Ooh, look at that one eris roar of the storm I have not seen that's my first foil i believe from the commander series there so we'll throw that one down there looks thin art pillage the bog that old tumble wag oof every time i see that man i think i'm glad that i'm not in that situation every single time i don't know why i have to think that same thought now i definitely do not think that it is worth at least for me opening collector boosters of every magic set uh, i've said before too but i'm really planning on sticking here magic going forward to kind of narrowing down the sets that i interact with territory forge it's cool but i want to only open up the sets that i really really like right there's just too many products too many things happening too much going on it's like i'm not even going to try to keep up and i actually have more fun look at that plunderer and that's a decent hit I actually have more fun. There we go. Why not throw in another one from the big score territory forge? Like I'm going to, I think I'm having more fun with magic by just 
being super picky, picking and choosing the sets I like the most and just focusing on them, kind of ignoring the rest. Uh, you know, I haven't I haven't looked at a set where I was like, hmm, I really like that set since uh, Wilds of Eldrain. Lost Caverns of Exelon was, was okay for me, but it just wasn't my jam. It wasn't my, you know, super exciting love it set. But here's one where I really like it. I like the colors. I like the theme. I like the just the overall design and the stuff that they have going on here. How's that for a description? Obika. Obika. I'm getting too many surgical extractions. You know, I like the breaking news frame. It's not my favorite, but I like it. Tower Winder. The Lookout. And of course, I'm excited. There's going to be a couple more sets coming out this year. Modern Horizons 3, Bloomboro. Like, I'm just going to pause. I'm going to focus on those ones. And if it's a set where I look at the set and I think, you know, I just don't really want to collect that set. Now, even if I'm not going to actually try and collect the whole set, if I look at it and I think, man, you know, even if I had endless money, I just, I don't even know if I'd care or I'd want that. You know, then I'm going to just kind of ignore it and skip it. And I do, I want to open, we're going to open another one here, but quick recap on this first, you know, box. This is not like your super winter box, but with a mana drain, Terror of the Peaks, you know, foil extended the best. That's the best one you can get, right? Pretty decent box. Let's try another one. So we're going to try out here box number two of the video. And again, I just, I do really like the box design. It got me. It definitely got me this time. It got me excited. Oh, about trying this set. Look at those packs all come out. Whoa. These are cool. They are cool. Too expensive though. Too expensive, right, to just, just buy one to put on your shelf. I don't quite, I do not quite suggest doing that. But hopefully here we can get one of those really fancy uh, showcased raised cards. Fun cards, a little smuggler surprise. Dominus Foundry. There we go. It's our first non-foil one of those. I do I like that duels to the mind. I want to build the train, right? I want to build the train. That's one of those little things where it's like I I want to see it. I want to have it. I want to collect it. Again, like a you know, a question you can ask yourself is is it a set that you would like to see in a binder? If the answer is no to that, and I mean specifically your binder, right? Not just somebody else's binder. But if, if you look at it and you're like, meh, I don't actually think it would be that cool to have in a binder. Well, you probably shouldn't be, you know, cracking open the collector boxes. Because, ha, look at that. Two of them in a row. There we got the engine. Nice. With a grand abolisher. Right, if you don't like the idea, you're not excited about the idea of seeing it in a binder, your binder. And, uh, you know, being able to flip through it and collect it. Well, yeah, you know, probably not the set for you. So ooh, look at that gold pan. You know, it's it's cool. Very cool. So how's that? Right. So for somebody who's who has a website where you can buy some of these cars, you can buy I got you can buy collector boxes on my website or you can buy a box break if you want me to actually open it for you. Um, I'm not going to tell everybody, yeah, you should get this. I'm not going to say, whoa, this is the product. You need to get it today or else you're going to miss out. You know, it's like maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. And if it's not, like, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. Focus on the magic sets that you love the most. And I know that this is not the one that everybody loves. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't have any sense of, FOMO or oh, other people are doing it. I got to do it. It's just, if you like it, go for it. If you don't, don't. Of course, it is more fun. It's more fun when other people like it as well. And I think for me, actually that terror, like the th biggest thing that holds me back from collecting more magic, I don't know if it's the biggest, one of the top big things for me it's just the fact that I don't really see other people doing it, right? I don't see other people showing off their master sets. I don't, I don't hear a lot of people talking about collecting sets and different things. And so because of that, it just makes it a little less, you know, it's a little less enticing for me. Look at this world waker helm. We're working on getting one in every single 
box that we open, it seems like. This time we got the foil variant. First time we've seen the foil version. Nice to have that. Oh man, getting my piles messed up. Here we go, another one of those showcases. This time it's the Generous Plunder. That's cool. That's a cool looking card. I like that variant. That is very cool art. Man, it's the kind of art where you gotta cut pause and take some time to look through it, see what's going there on with his cloak, followed by another mythic. Ooh, look at that, it's a cool memory vessel. I like the look on that one. I have seen people mention too how it's difficult to get just your normal, like regular set mythics in these boxes. And look at that. So these are all, you know, they're all mythics. You know, you can use whatever word you want with those mythics, but we've got uh, zero, right? We've got zero from the main set. I thought we had one, but it was another big score one there. So it's interesting. It's very interesting. Nothing from the main set yet, which I mean, I guess we were pretty lucky then hitting that Terror of the Peaks in that first box. Uh, you know, of course, there's not that many Mythics in the main set that are super valuable too. So that's okay. It's okay if we're not hitting all of them. I'm not going to get too upset about that. But we like this. A slick shot show off. We've hit this foil in two out of three boxes two out of three boxes so that one i'll sleeve him i'll sleeve him because he's he's got a little bit of value he actually has some value unlike most of his friends most of his friends looking at here well i did my piles i messed my piles up so we are halfway through that's six packs and again you're looking at it it's not like i don't look at this box and think wow look at all the stuff we're getting back and then you just say that and then look at that cool tiny bones that pick pocket look at that wanted poster foil version his head is popping off his body everything is popping off his body what is going on what is going on let's get that guy up here let's get that guy up there he's wanted that's a cool cool looking card very cool we'll sleeve it we'll sleeve it i these ones i like I do like, and if you're a collector and you kind of like these ones, some of them, they're already super cheap. And I imagine they're only going to get uh, cheaper, but those are cool cards. Those might be ones that I'm actually like, you know, I'll just go and buy the rest that I don't open. Because, yeah, they look cool and I'll feel good about having them. There are some cards like that. Sapaka Fairy. Probably, I should just hold them up here like this. The art. This is the kind of thing where I just, I love it. The art on so many of these cards. I enjoy which is not true of every set there are so many sets so many there are many sets that i kind of flip through the cards the commons and the commons i'm like well this the art you know it's there it's there but this set oof most of it most of it i like look at that territory forge it's cool looking cool looking one still have not seen any of the really fancy raised foils Bonnie Pal coming in again. We've had a couple. There we go. There's a mythic from the regular set. Assimilation Aegis. Not necessarily the dream one, but it is one. And so many of these lands. Lava Spur Boots. That's the one. One card in that uncommon slot that has, you know, more than 50 cents. Maybe it's not anymore. It might actually be below that by the time you're watching this. But the last time I looked, it was like almost a dollar, you know. There's Marchesa again. Coming around, reanimate. One of the ones that's actually okay to see a heartless conscription. Now, when it comes to value wise, inspiring vantage. That's our second foil of that one. Ah, those mountains. Those mountains. Okay, I won't I won't make you guys look at all those back cards. I like it though. I like it. I enjoy collecting it. I wish, you know, I just wish the boxes didn't cost quite so much. Then maybe I could do some sort of master set madness, try and open the whole thing, but they're just they're just a little bit too pricey, as most of you would agree. Force of vigor. Too pricey to do that big full opening. But can do a little bit. Can have some fun with it. Malcolm the eyes. That's a cool looking one. Ah oh, yeah. These ones, I mean, these are gonna look cool. If you do a binder with these, 
they're gonna look very cool. Down to our last two packs. It looks like we're not gonna come close to our first box though. And they're not hitting anything super, super big. You know, that force, sorry, the sword of wealth and power we got way back in the previous video. That was the big hit. Here we go, Gerald again. Again, wow, okay, so that's three in two boxes, two of that frame. So the duplication, you know, coming around a little bit here. And of course we had this, we've had two mana drains of our three cases, but we, we need something big in this last pack. Otherwise this is probably looking like one of those boxes that's like, mm, you know, you gotta be okay. That maybe it doesn't hit $200 and look at that. Our very first special guest scape shift scape shift that i believe that's the first special guest i've opened yet out of anything in this set foil extended art borderless one of those two scape shift wow look at that very very nice i have no idea what that one is worth but a nice nice hit to close off with yuma speed and annie joins up and then you slowly make your way through the end of the box oh man i don't know what is that scape shift worth though that oh you see and you get a card like this and this is where the temptation comes it's like well you know you should probably open another one but you gotta be careful you gotta slow down take your time so i looked it up and that scape shift is like 35 $35 at the moment, that foil version. Oh, Garolf, he's not doing much though. His showcase variant there is like $5. So nothing too exciting from him. But you know, I just thought, I just want to open one more. One more. We're going to stop at this one more. We got a little mind flavor there. Not the right mind card though. I get the other one. And you know, the Terror of the Peaks, he's like at $50. So that's what I'm recording right now. That's what I'm recording right now. But I still want to try one more. I want to see if we can get one of these fancy, fun, raised cards. One. Take one more shot. That's the last shot that we're going to take today. Caustic Bronco. Rest in peace. There you go. Look at that. I have not seen rest in peace yet. Man, they put so many different cards in this big score list. All these different bonus lists they have. And man... It takes a lot. You got to open a lot of packs if you want to get something specific. So that rule is always stands. You know, don't go hunting for one specific thing. Oh, man. Second one of those. Second one. That one was not worth much. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Ooh, look at Olivia there. Okay. Got that little extended art on Olivia as well. Extended art borderless. I get them mixed up sometimes. Though they, the board, they, those two, those are my favorite variants for Magic the Gathering. For pretty much any game, they're simple, but they're clean, and they just, they look good. They feel like the game that they're coming from. They're just all around the way I like it. The way it should be, it'll be good again. Oof, Journey to Nowhere. That's how this box is feeling. Did we make a mistake? Did we make a mistake on box number three <laughs> maybe maybe this should have been the one i did for the 200 video concealed courtyard again i like the card not worth much contagion engine okay okay again you gotta be okay symbol chrome synthesizer though it's got a little bit it's got a little bit of value on that rakdos joining up does not no matter what we end up getting oh in this box look at that the Lost Jitte, look at that. Our Open Vault variant, it's a foil. It is a foil, it is not raised. Again, we have, man, we have not been able to find that raised version. That one's gotta be super rare, but look at that. Oh, cool. So we got that and the sword. Oh, oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Look at here and who we got sneaking around in the back, Mr. Oko. The ringleader himself in 
foil. Very cool. Very cool. So look at that one pack. That one pack was better than everything, the first four packs. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That, that is one reason though, you know, if you're gonna buy some collector booster shirt, you know, you can always throw a risk at one, but man, I don't know. For me, it's like, I want the whole box so that I don't miss that one pack that has, seems to be there's the packs that have the good stuff, have the good stuff. I have not found, old Bristly Bill, I have not found in my very, you know, so many opening boxes here, but it just seems like the few that have had the really good stuff has had like three, four of them packed together. I'm uh, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure some of those other boxes or packs that were good. Like the very first one we opened, first Mana Drain also came with another $17 card or something in it. So it's just like, okay, that pack was $49 and the packs all before it were zero. <laughs> you know, so it's like really tough if you're just picking one pack out at a time. I always like getting them all. Omen Path Journey. Yeah, that one's okay. That one's okay. But, okay. Four more packs and the excitement came back up. Excitement came back up. Anyways, if you like this, if you enjoy Master Set Madness here, you like seeing too many Surgical Extraction, uh, $3 foils being open, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know. I need a few more likes to know, see if I know if I can even keep doing magic on this channel. Got to get some more people in it. Got to get through the algorithm to hit the right crowd. And of course, if you want to do a box break or something, let me know. You can check it out over on my website, mastersetmass.com. has everything there available for you from Thunder Junction. And we'll see. We're going to see. I'm kind of testing to see how it goes with this set, whether or not uh, keep doing box breaks and different stuff going forward. I'd like to because I like opening these boxes. But uh, I'm probably going to stick, no matter what, I'm probably going to stick to my favorite sets. So those sets like Modern Horizons 3 and Bloomboro. That's the stuff I'm looking forward to this year. Um, you know, if it's a set that I'm just eh, not, not thinking so excited about, just going to kind of skip it, thought sees, and having, having more fun that way. Having more fun with magic. There's the memory vessel. First one of those we have found. Pillage the Bog. We got one more pack. One more chance. One more chance. Come on. Raise up the foil. Raise up the foil. I believe, I don't actually know, but it should be in this first slot, right? If it's there. Oh, it's the Gitra. Ravenous Ride. Okay. He's a cool looking card, but he is no, he's no raised foil. But we're okay. We're okay with that. At least it's a, at least it's a mythic in the last pack. Look at Gonti. Oof. That's a cool one. Oh, the gold. It's the art like that. The stuff art like that is just, oh, it's good. And Malcolm. You're okay, Malcolm. Great Train Heist. That's our last rare. Again, though, there was one pack that really made this shine. It would have been not so fun had that pack not been there. Wow. Still fun. Fun opening. Hope you're enjoying this set. We'll see you next time. Peace.